I've been reading a lot of papers lately that say men are having less and less sex. This epidemic is honestly huge because one of the most important parts of life is relationships. Sex being a sign of a man's ability to court and attract women. So today, I'm going to talk about how the dating market has changed. But it's not to make you feel resentful about it or make you feel like you have to go find a wife in Asia or the Middle East. If you want to, that's great. But that may cause issues further down the line. So I'm here to talk about how society has failed for men in dating and what you need to start learning to conquer this problem. And don't forget, you're not in this alone. Hi guys, my name is Juliana. I'm a certified psychotherapist with Men's Mental Health Institute. So in previous videos, we did delve into the fascinating topic of modern versus traditional women and how their roles and attitudes are shaped by the westernized world and the omnipresent force of competition. So let's deep dive into this complex interplay. So first, let's recap. Modern women are those who embrace progressive values, prioritize career and advancement, and often challenge traditional gender roles. They're independent, assertive, and unafraid to chart their life on their own path. Yet on the other hand, traditional women tend to adhere to more conventional roles, placing emphasis on family, domesticity, and often defiance to male authority. So now how does the westernized world factor into this equation? Well, in societies heavily influenced by Western culture and values such as individualism, consumerism, and rapid technology advancement, women are presented with a wide range of opportunities and choices. This led to both liberation and complexity as women navigate the balancing act between tradition and modern society. But here's where things get really interesting competition. In a world where success is often equated with achievement, success, and maternal wealth, competition became, becomes ingrained in our social fabric. And this competition isn't just limited to men. Women are active participants in the race for success and recognition and validation. So what does this mean for relationships and dating? Well, in a competitive world, both men and women are constantly evaluating their options, seeking out partners who complement their lifestyles, ambitions, and their values. This can create tension between modern and traditional expectations, as individuals who strive to find common ground admits a sea of choices. So in conclusion, the dynamics between modern and traditional women in westernized competitive world are quite complex and multifaced. As we navigate these challenges, it's important to foster empathy, understanding, and open communication in our relationships. After all, true connection transcends labels and expectations, right? So moving forward, we're going to dive into a crucial topic that many of my clients have grappled with. The fear in men that women perceive as tryanny and the subsequent journey to rediscovering their masculine energy, their masculine identity, particularly in light of the Me Too movement. This issue has become increasingly prominent and quite urgent. So first, let's address the fear. So in today's society, there's a palpable anxiety among men that their actions, intentions, or even mere expressions of masculinity might be misconstrued as oppressive or harmful to women. This fear can stem from a variety of sources, including social expectations, media portrayal, and personal experiences as well. So when we talk about the Me Too movement, while crucial for bringing attention to issues of sexual harassment and gender inequality, it also inadvertently contributed to this fear. Many men feel as though they're walking on eggshells, unsure of how to interact with women without being labeled bad or toxic. So here's the thing. Fear should never, ever be the foundation upon which we build our identities. That's why many of my clients join the Men's Mental Health Institute. At this point, seeking to break free from the shackles of fear and rediscover what it truly means to embody 
healthy masculinity. So through the Men's Mental Health Institute, we provide a safe space for men to explore their fears, confront societal expectations, and cultivate a deeper understanding of themselves. We encourage open dialogue, empathy, and self-reflection, fostering an environment where men can reclaim their power and agency without restoring to harmful behaviors or attitudes. So let's move on. Continuing on, we're diving into a topic that may ruffle some feathers, but bear with me because it's quite important. Why power and competition are actually good things in the realm of dating for men. And yes, that means no freebies and definitely no participation prizes. So let's get one thing straight. Dating is not a game with guaranteed rewards. It's a dynamic area where individuals vie for attention, connection, and ultimately partnership. And in any competitive arena, power and competition are not just good, they're essential. Wouldn't you agree? Think about it in sports. Competition drives athletes to push their limits, hone their skills, and drive and strive for excellence. In business, competition fosters innovation, drives growth, and rewards those people who are willing to put in the work. So why shouldn't dating be any different? In the dating world, power doesn't mean dominance or manipulation. It means owning your worth confidently, pursuing what you want, and respecting others' boundaries. It means being proactive, decisive, and unapologetic about your desires. And now let's talk about participation prizes. In today's culture of instant gratification and endless options, it's easy to fall into the trap of expecting rewards without putting in the effort first. But here's the truth. In dating, just showing up isn't enough. You have to bring something to the table, whether it's charm, intelligence, humor, or genuine connection. So where's the takeaway here? Embrace the power of competition. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Take risks and pursue what you want. And remember, there are no freebies in dating, but the rewards are worth the effort. So there you have it. Power and competition are not something to be feared. There's something to be embraced. So go out there, put yourself in the game, and remember the best prizes are not earned or given. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.